Hello, how are you doing today? May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today, I want to give you some Psalms you can read to destroy the plans of the enemies in your life, in your family. So, child of God, you need not to fear. Go on and pray with these Psalms. Almighty God will answer you in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. The God Almighty is there for you at all times. So go on and read this psalm and read it all. And God will bless you. Another one is Psalm 83 verses 14 and 18. Another one is 24. Psalm 24 verses 7 to 10. Another one is Psalm 2 from verse 1 to 4. Another one is Psalm 35 from verses 1 to 6 and 8. Make sure you read it all and pray and have faith that Almighty God has answered you. Again, it's Psalm 109 verses 28 and 29. Psalm 68 verse 1. Psalm 144 verse 5 and 6, Psalm 59 verses 10, 11 and 13. This Psalm 59, whenever people are against you or you have a court case, please use it. God will use it to fight all your battle. You will be surprised what will happen. Whenever you have a problem or you have a court case, use it to solve this problem. God answered prayers. Another one is Psalm 86 from verse 14 to 17. Another one is Psalm 138 verse 7. Another is Psalm 37 verse 20. Another one is Psalm 92 from verses 9 to 11. Read it very well and allow God to do his work. God is fighting your battle. God is fighting your battle. Look at this Psalm 27, I said, verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. When somebody comes to eat up your flesh, what do you understand in it? In everything that is around you, they want to attack you, attack your finance, attack everything around you, bring sickness, pain. So, child of God, use it to fight. Verse 3 says, Do an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Do war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. This is Psalm 27 telling you all these things. No matter any weapon they use to come, God will defeat them and fight for you. And again, there is a promise here. You say, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. That is it. When God is fighting your battle, when God is defeating all your enemies, don't run away from God. Do not run away. Rather, that's the time you will go in for Christ. That time you will pray the more in the name of Jesus. Verse 5 says, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Verse 6 said, And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy i will sing yea i will sing praises unto the lord see when god has done good things for you go and testify and when you are testifying please be reasonable if it's something that concerns finance don't call it out there just put blessings god has blessed me because so many things happen in the church now your enemies can be in the church there is nothing that Satan cannot use to fight children of God, so be careful. God is always there for us. God cannot hide himself because of anything. He's the Alpha and Omega. 
He is all sufficient God. So child of God, run to God. Run to God and use the Psalms to wage that war. Use the Psalms to pray. And Almighty God will continue to be with you to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please try and finish this Psalm 27. Read it. Mostly if you are the person that has strength, you can go on midnight prayer. Instead of you crying, instead of you going to places that will bring trouble to you, just go to God and be calm. Leave everything in the hand of the Lord Almighty. He will settle that case. There is nothing God cannot do for us, his children. So, child of God, trust in the Lord. Believe in him. Leave everything in his care. God is able to solve all your problems. There is no problem Almighty God cannot solve. Use this psalm and pray. And God Almighty will see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain blessed, child of God. Hallelujah.